Hello, Ryan. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, my name is uh, Tijun Chen. Today I'm going to talk about uh, WebAssembly, something about WebAssembly on uh, machine learning AI. On back here, that's a separate WebAssembly AI with a backend graph compiler, a uh, wide variety of AI hardware accelerators. So at first, uh, just um, let me give you a very brief overview of WebAssembly. WebAssembly is a you know, binary instruction format for stack-based virtual machine. Um, basically, it can give you a better performance, a small binary size, and a high portability, et cetera. Uh, you know, in the first place, uh, WebAssembly was enabled to empower that web browser, right? Just given the advantage as I talked, the WebAssembly has already been introduced to run outside the web browser. Uh, in this kind of case, we need something like that uh, WebAssembly runtime and one thing. So our uh, WebAssembly runtime uh, just facilitates all of the interaction between uh, the so-called stack, which can run on WebAssembly binary format and the environment in which that VM exists. So WASI, uh, WASI stands for WebAssembly System Interface. You know, it's an uh, API specification that defines the standard interface between WebAssembly uh, modules and their host environments. Uh, that's WebAssembly. So what about WebAssembly machine learning? Yeah, actually, you know, there, there are a lot of things uh, happening around this, like TensorFlow JavaScript and Onyx runtime or web and web driven and other. But for these cases, they are run on web browser. Uh, they probably use that uh, GPU acceleration. Uh, they can run GPU, but um, probably with that, you know, that uh, web, uh, WebGL, right? Uh, which is the JavaScript API to use the GPU. Uh, you know this API is designed for that graphics uh, processing. It's not suitable for that general purpose computation like machine learning. Uh, there's something else like one compiler, uh, a VOSM and web GPU compiler. Uh, basically, it builds that uh, web GPU runtime into QM, one that graph uh, compiler into that uh, JavaScript runtime. But anyway, it's still in that uh, web browser. Uh, what's the end? What's the neural network? It's proposed the WebAssembly system interface API for our machine learning. So with our uh, what's the end as claimed the WebAssembly application uh, that want to access host AI capability can access the AI capability through our uh, what's the end core abstraction. Uh, it's all uh, abstract abstraction such as that uh, machine learning backend and graphics and that uh, tensor. So they uh, you know, expect the uh, wonder to uh, provide this machine learning backend and support our particular graph formats. I think now no, it's you know, not possible to use this support the different AI uh, hardware accelerate. So I just think uh, we need a better way to get machine learning AI uh, into WebAssembly easily, especially uh, supporting your uh, diverse AI uh, uh, hardware accelerate outside the web browser. Uh, but how? Before I'm talking that, you know, our WebAssembly AI yeah, application actually can talk to a machine learning framework on the host. Just for some limitation, for some reason, uh, it you know, mostly works with uh, CPU. But I think I can start from there to do something. Uh, it just you know, turns out this question. How can we enable different AI have separated into machine learning frameworks? If so, WebAssembly AI also can leverage this to you know, support those you know, popular AI have separated. Uh, the answer here is yes, I'm really able to you know, boost the machine learning by transparent backend acceleration with a graph or a compiler. I use the graph compiler, what's a graph compiler? A graph, graph compiler is something uh, sitting between those machine learning upstream frameworks such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, and so on, and those low-level device driver and low-level library. So the purpose of graph compiler is to optimize the processing of the forward, or backward, or pass over the computation graph. Uh, anyway, so as you see here, you know, there are you know, lots of the graph compiler available, like the TVM, in the TensorRT, Intel, OpenVINO, AMD Rock, uh, Linux, VCR, etc. So um, if we could you now enable this graph compiler, we would be able to support those different AI hard right? But the thing here is uh, the graph compiler is more like a third party on software. I mean, there's a different graph compiler, the different frameworks now being developed independently. We need to consider how to you know, enable the graph compiler into uh, machine learning frameworks you know, seamlessly. Okay, this is my okay, this is my solution. So I intend to you know, boost the machine learning AI by enabling machine learning framework with the graph compiler, but seamlessly. So we have this you now boost server system. So with this server system, our approach can work as being you know, automated on the backend, so it's, it's transparent to a user. There's uh, no any code change to your native AI application. How can I make this? Now basically, I built into the graph compiler. 
Uh, with our uh, boot, uh, zone system, uh, we have that kind of interposer. So at the runtime, I can intercept our machine learning framework, the API, just pass down and let the, the backend group compiler take real machine learning operation. For example, let's you know, uh, talk about uh, TensorFlow. Just think of one uh, simple TensorFlow AI application. Typically, it should first call an API load model to load your pre-trained model, and then call another API predict to do machine learning inference. So we just figure out some way at the runtime we can redirect load model to our customized load model, predict to our customized or predict. Then we have a chance to do something on what we want to do with the graph compiler. So based on this, I build this extension of supporting our WebAssembly AI. Again, at the first, you know, WebAssembly AI application at least works with CPU. Now uh, our own system just enable appropriate graph compiler according to uh, your yeah, hardware set and build this graph compiler into such a library. So when you run your WebAssembly AI application, uh, our own system can hijack that and load that library and also inject some code into that machine learning framework uh, low level library. Just kind of connect them uh, between that machine learning framework and the graph compiler and map that graph compiler, uh, map that uh, machine learning framework API to that uh, a graph compiler API. Uh, now we cannot intercept that you know, machine framework API at the runtime. So when your uh, WebAssembly application call that API load model, it should go to our defined load model, where we can retrieve your uh, machine learning model. And we also have some way to you know, uh, pass your model automatically to connect uh, uh, some necessary model information, such as model type, model data type, model input shape, model output, out shape, you know, et cetera. Then with this information, we can compile that model into such an uh, intermediate repetition needed by the graph compiler. And we load that as that graph runtime. Next, when you are uh, WebAssembly AI application call that predict, it should go our predict, where we use this graph runtime to do a real machine inference with your input. And then get the result back to our uh, TensorFlow and back to the WebAssembly AI application. So after that, you can see uh, your native, uh, we can let your uh, native WebAssembly AI application run on the underlying AI set rich uh, by the graph compiler without any code change, right? So I would say uh, no matter uh, what kind of hardware set rich you deploy on your platform, um, like GCPU or different GPU, IPG, um, I would say any uh, hardware set rich we can support because we depend on that uh, graph compiler, we can support multiple graph compiler. Uh, that's it. If you have any questions, just you know, free to me um, anytime through my email or like Twitter.